It is time for more Minecraft bingo, and specifically, I am in the mood to try to black out a random seed. So let's see what we get. Let me take a moment to analyze this card. This actually looks like a pretty friendly card. I think there's only 26 iron. We need the jungle items. Lapis might be hard to get, but there's no diamonds. Ender pearl hopefully won't be too bad. Name tag is usually not too bad. We do need the book and quill. We do need an egg. So we're definitely going to have to spend some time around chickens. And then a number of straightforward items. I have not played bingo in over a week. I'm recording this just after getting back for some travel over Labor Day. I see sheep right here. Sheep, pigs, there are cows there. That's good because we need the leather. Do I see any chickens anywhere? There's horses. Don't think I see the chickens. Yeah, all right, but we're still, we're in pretty good shape. And for the cows, I just need the leather. I don't need milk for anything. And we do need a spruce sapling, and it looks like, yeah, both these trees that I'm kind of in on around are spruce trees. So that's good. I don't need to use my starting boats that I just always leave turned on these days. But let's see if we can get ourselves a spruce sapling. We'll get some initial tools going. We will kill some cows and pigs. I guess I don't really need to kill the sheep. Uh, the cows and pigs will probably give me some better food. And there are ferns right here if I manage to find some easy iron. Uh, the cows and pigs, I think, were over in this direction. And I do see there's some... Yeah, okay. There's actually a lot of places where I could go to get stone. We'll just start right here. And I see lots of sugarcane around as well. Which makes me happy because I know I need at least seven of it. For the book and quill for the fireworks rocket, and for the sugar itself. Oh, and then I need nine more for the compass, the map. So yeah, that's a fair amount of sugar cane. So I should grab all the sugar cane that's around here. And let's do go ahead and get enough to get an initial furnace going, because I do have some food animals around that I want to cook. So we'll do that. And I think then, oops, we're in good shape. Yeah, this feels like a decent start. Let's take a quick peek in case there's easy iron right here. Because even just a couple of pieces would be pretty great in order to get our fern, for example. And then I saw lots of cows over here. We'll grab this. Hello, cows. Become food. And let's see. I would prefer to chop down more spruce. Just so that... Did I even get my spruce sapling? No, because I have zero items. So let's go back to the start. Let's get some cows cooking up. And let's get ourselves some more wood and make sure that we actually get a sapling here. Okay, there's the sapling. So that problem is already gone and solved itself. And let's see, I think one more tree would be enough wood for a while. There are more cows over there. And it wouldn't hurt to get them, I suppose. And yeah, I guess looking for the chicken could definitely be a good thing to do at this point. Um, let's just, after this one is done, go ahead and grab that and get this on the bar. Turn these into these so I can have them on the bar as well. And if I were a chicken, where might I be? Relative to here at spawn, I need beetroots. I forgot about the beetroots. They're actually probably the hardest item on the card. That's the one thing I didn't really factor in or anticipate. So it's probably the thing to worry about. So finding a village could be really good. And what do we have here? Uh, this looks like I see coal. So yeah, this looks like a good place to go ahead and head down and just grab some more resources. How much coal am I going to need? There isn't that much stuff to cook up, and so let's just get like six for now. We're not going to need an emerald, so we won't need any coal for trades. But let's do look and see if we can get some easy iron perchance. There's a little bit of iron in the ceiling there.
And there's also some iron here that I would like to get cooked up. So let me go ahead, oops, and get the furnace going with that and see if there's any other easy iron right here. Uh, whoa, okay, almost fell in there. I That does go down, that could be good. While I'm here, I would like this. And I can probably do like this to get up to this bit of iron. Yeah, that works for one more piece. And while this is going, let's just get another furnace going. And then there's a couple of things I could go ahead and make. While I cook up a little bit more food and decide what I want to do. Okay, so I can make, let's go ahead and turn these into paper. Uh, this will need to turn into a book for the book and quill. And is there anything else I need leather for? No. So let's go ahead and actually make myself a shirt. Because why not? And we'll eventually have that for fireworks rockets. And we have iron cooking up, which I can go ahead and bake into an iron pick and shears and this thing. And let's go ahead and get the iron pick on the bar, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have some torches in case we happen to find a dungeon. We'll have them ready to go. Torches, torches, torches. And we'll wait for one more piece of food to cook up there. That should be good. Let's get back out into the world. And try to find some more things. I can gather my little leaf for sure. I know there are some of them right over here. Got eight steaks and I've got some other uncooked food. So we should be in good shape there. Here is this. Just because blocks are nice, I'm going to do that and switch to having those blocks in the bar. So I could use them. And we're still looking for our chicken. Pumpkins would be great. Any kind of dungeon would be good. A village would be terrific in all likelihood. And I just heard more cows. Oh, there's cows mixed in with the horses over here. Just because it's nice to have a lot of extra food on a blackout challenge. We'll do that. And I am going to need more sugarcane, and so let's peek around here for more of that. And I guess I don't immediately see that there. I am going to need the ink sacks, and I do need the clay as well. All right, so I guess let's try to go over to these guys as quickly as possible. Grab some ink. I believe I got it. So now we just need the chicken. And I guess I will head whatever direction this is, which is to the west of spawn. Sounds good. I know another man who likes to go west. He's a good guy. Seems like it's a good direction to go. So, let's see. Yeah, it was Labor Day weekend. I went home to visit my mom and help her out with some things. One of her friends has a power washer, pressure washer, not sure exactly what you call it, thingy who's it, <laughs> that we borrowed. Hey, jungle! That's terrific. Okay, so to the west there is a jungle. And I need a jungle, so that's great. And at this point, I don't really need those anymore, so we'll get rid of them. Bye-bye, shears. And, yeah, like a power washer, it's... Uh, I tend to be a safety kind of person or whatever, and so it is, it is a weapon to be feared and respected, uh, but is good for cleaning brickwork and driveways and stuff like that. Okay, I'm also looking for the melon, so let's try to find that. And, but yes, I was trying to be very careful while I was using it, uh, because you can injure yourself severely with the power washer if you are not careful. Okay, we got our melon. That's great. Do I want to continue heading to the west? I guess I will, and just see what other kinds of things we can see over in this direction. Maybe there'll be even a jungle temple here. Who knows? We get a repeater and some other stuff. Um, yeah, but I think possibly 
as a result of trying to be very careful and always holding it steady and making sure that uh, I was never pointing the thing in the wrong direction or whatever. Like, that was that was on Monday, and now it's Wednesday. Yesterday, I was really sore. Today, I'm still a little bit sore. <laughs> but I think just from, like, gripping the the washer and pointing it in directions or whatever and combination of like using muscles I'm not accustomed to and just kind of like being tense all the time trying to make sure I didn't do anything wrong like I ended up really sore in my arms so I don't know that there's a moral to that story um, but it's just it's a story about something that happened in my life and you guys are getting to hear it aren't you lucky I see more iron down here uh, and I want it. Yeah, let's let's head down. Let's grab some more iron. And we could even stay downstairs, potentially. Okay, there's creepers down there. It looks like there might be a ravine. Uh, but I think what I want to do is, before I tangle with them, let's get some more of this and this cooking up. Let's eat some of this. And, oh, there's a dungeon over here, near some lava and another ravine. Uh, Skeletnas fighting each other, as we like. That worked out quite well. I feel confident enough to jump in here, but actually I should make sure that I'm all fed before I do that. And I completely forgot about the... I specifically put it on the bar, too. The thing that I put on the bar for just this situation that I cannot come up with the words with right now because my brain is overwhelmed doing the other things that I need to do. All right, that worked out pretty well. I can move this down here, and I have the wheat. Yeah, let's go ahead and quickly craft up the cookie so I don't have to worry about that anymore. And then I can put those things away, and I don't need the melons anymore either. I've got plenty of good food. And I can go ahead and make the fireworks rocket as well. And then I actually want to hold on to this paper, because it could save me later on from all the paper I need to craft. Yeah, okay, we're in good shape there. That was very profitable. We didn't get our name tag though, I don't think. So we still want to find a dungeon for the name tag. Uh, but a lot of the other stuff we have gotten and is good. All right, a bucket would be very useful at this point. So let's see if I can make one of those. Well, I know I can. Let's actually do it. And at this point, I think I prefer to have the food on the bar. And I know that there was a water source right here. It has turned nighttime. Oops, and there are creepers afoot. And I really don't need to deal with you, so let's just make you explode. Um, or kill you. Either way. And then, do I want to hop down into these ravines? I guess so. We need to get gold and lapis and more iron, but not a ton more, because there wasn't a ton of iron on this card. Uh, what I see over here might end up being enough. Hey, try and place a block. All right, that's fine. He's taking some damage. Still not enough. All right, we'll eat this in a moment. And I think I won't bother getting every little last piece of iron here, because I think I'm in pretty good shape. That looks like it's going downwards as well. This is going back upwards. This is probably all going to eventually circle around. Um, yeah, fairly certain that I probably have enough iron. So I guess let's go down into that ravine and see if we can find the things we so desire. Let's see, and then eventually back up on the surface I'll need to find a desert for a cactus. Okay, so down here I can just jump down and I don't see anywhere that's actually going somewhere useful just yet. Doesn't look like it goes anywhere useful in that direction. And how about down here? It's at least a little bit deeper, but it looks like I'm just going to be digging down further. What level am I at right now? 29? 
Um, I don't have to go much further, so I'm going to stair step and just see if we can luck into some of the resources we want or hear something good. All right, I was unable to locate those skeletons. They're actually kind of close right here. Hold the phone. And there's a zombie somewhere. Sounds like he's here. Is he up or down? Let's try going up. Yeah, we're pretty near this zombie. So that would at least be a cave. So let's go from here. Oh, nice. All right, sure. Let's eat some food. Pop in on our new friends. Great. Uh, oh, there's gold. There's lapis. Great. Could it work out any better? Uh, one more piece of gold would be terrific. There we go. I think those are just the three gold that I need. So I think I'm actually in pretty good shape. Uh, in terms of the downstairsy bits. Modulo the dungeon that we haven't found with the name tag. But let's kind of run across through here. Oh, that sounds like a spider dungeon. Hold the phone. Okay, here's the spider dungeon. Managed to come up into the corner of it. Which is pretty good. I do have a torch, which I think I did just place. And I can go ahead and break it. Alright, the torch went away, but there we go. Let's kill you. And you. And then see if we get our name tag. And also make sure that we're not under any other future tragic circumstances. All right, we have plenty of that for later. Let's go ahead, let's cook up a couple of things while we're here. Let's get the gold all cooked up now. And I can also cook up um, this stuff. Is there any more coal nearby? There is. I'm going to need some more coal, it looks like. And we'll go ahead and get a little bit more... Any signs of more dungeons that might have name tags? Not necessarily, but it does look like there's a way up and out over there. But let's switch to cooking up this next. And I can craft up a number of items at this point. So let's make the shovel and the sword. Uh, let's make the rails and put them away. Uh, let's switch to cooking up some more food in here. And go ahead and craft this guy up. And I can put this away. Oh, I need redstone. That's another thing I need from downstairs before we head back up. Uh, I've got seven, so let's go ahead and craft the cauldron. Uh, I have more cobblestone than I am going to need, so let's get rid of some of that. I don't need the lapis anymore. And I don't think I need the gunpowder anymore. I do need to make some gray dye. So let's do that. And then that can be put away. And I am going to need to fish, so let's go ahead and have a fishing rod made for when I go back upstairs, which might be shortly after I grab some quick redstone. And then this is all cooking up and that's all good. I don't think I necessarily need another iron pick. So yeah, I think we're in good shape for the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and update the card to try to verify that. I uh, need more sugarcane from the surface, that's fine. We need the chicken from the surface. We need the redstone down here. Yeah, okay, so redstone down here is our top priority. Both of these will finish momentarily, so I'll let one more thing finish cooking. And then do that. So we'll go down and grab some redstone, uh, which I'm glad I did remember at the last moment as opposed to completely forgetting about. And 
Then we'll head upstairs and hope for some good news. On the surface, uh, there is no redstone here, which seems unusual. It's a relatively common ore down in these levels. Or so I am led to believe. Alright, there's more gold. There's some diamonds. There's redstone. How much diamonds do we have? Diamonds are worth it, even if you don't need them. Yeah, I can make a pick. And an axe. And so I will do so. I think we're safe here for the moment. I guess I left my crafting table behind. I do hear a skeleton somewhere, to my dismay. Let's just not worry about him. Okay, so I no longer need these things. Great. And I do have the redstone, yes. All right, let's head back upstairs and just try to get up as fast as possible. Oh boy. Unless as fast as possible, it's going to kill you. <laughs> In which case, go a little bit more slowly and stay alive. I see the dungeon up there. Could have a name tag. But we must be careful. I hear a baby zombie. There it is. Okay, I think it's dropped. Crap. Alright, eat. Gotta get up there. Put this fire out. There we go. Okay. Any name tag? No, but I'll take the golden apple and some food. And beetroot seeds. Okay, that's terrific. Okay, those are all awesome things to find. I'm very happy about that. We can get rid of this at this point. Uh, still looking for the name tag, but the beetroot seeds are honestly a bigger win than the name tag would have been. Because name tags are relatively common, and beetroot seeds are a bit rarer. And so I'm pleased by that. Okay, it looks like we just need to dig up. I'm not in, yeah, in extreme hills or anything crazy like that. And it will be daytime on the surface. So we'll head back upstairs. We'll do some farming. We'll craft a few more items. I forgot about endermen and enderpearls, which I should have done last night, but oh well. We had a very productive night regardless. So let's not be unhappy about it. And if we have to go past 30 minutes to get our ender pearl, that's fine. Chicken is another thing also that actually is almost certainly gonna bring me to at least 30 minutes if there aren't any chickens right around here. Yeah, so let's be less worried about a good time and more focused on just making sure we get everything to finish. Okay, so I had been heading to the west, which is this way. So let's continue heading this way so that we are not doubling back on ourselves. Chickens are somewhat common in the jungle biomes, I am led to believe. And sure enough, there they are, and there's an egg. Great. And I do also need to kill the chicken for a feather. Uh, feather, feather, feather. Please give me your feather. There we go. Okay, got the feather. Um, and so now I just need to farm some beetroots, I suppose. Um, I'll wait until I manage to get a good little bit of land. That's right next to the water. Oh, and there's a desert over there too. Great. Uh, this will work. Yeah, we're in a safe spot. And I do have some more things that I could be smelting as well. Okay, so. Smelty, smelty. Um, actually, I need the redstone repeater, and so let's get three cobble in here. And then crafty, crafty. Uh, I can make this plus this plus this. Um, I could be fishing right now while I try to craft up some other things such as a compass, like so. And I'm going to need more whatevers for that. And then I'm going to need a hoe to do some farming with, except for I think I see the fish coming. There we go. OK, a hoe to do some farming with for our beetroots. And we need to get six of them. 
And so let's go like this. Take that out of my hand for a moment. Doodly loop. Doodly loop. All right, some very delicious beetroots for beetroot stew. I say very delicious beetroots. I'm actually not all that fond of beets. They are not my jam in real life. But hey, we got what we needed in Minecraft bingos. That's terrific. Hold on to that if, in case for somehow it turns out to be a useful thing. Uh, I can craft a redstone repeater like so. I can move this back on the bar and pick this back up. And let's see, what are the things I still need to make? I'm going to want a boat to go sailing over to the desert. And then looks like I'll still need a hopper. And obviously the sugar cane in order to be able to make the map. And I need to craft up the cactus into its die. And I got my egg already. Yeah, we're getting close here. Getting pretty close to the end, I think. Which is good. Okay, so... In you go. Three, six, zing. This becomes a map. I don't think I ever actually got the sugar, so there's that. Um, we got the fish, we got the cactus. Let's update the card again. I have 22 items, so three more items are needed. I need to make the hopper, and I have all the ingredients. I need to get the ender pearl, and what is the other final thing? Ah, the name tag, right, of course. Okay, so we need to get a name tag and we need to get an Enderman. So ideally, we will find a little cave system to hop into, go find a dungeon with a name tag, or there could be a pyramid up here with a name tag too. That would be, that would be completely reasonable. Uh, and then we can kill an Enderman up here in the desert. Seems pretty reasonable. All right, let's do this. I'm going to place that there mostly just to help me find my way out again so I can move quickly, perhaps. I've got 21 stakes, so I should not worry about the bread on the bar anymore. Because the stakes are high. Um, sure. Okay, you are not from a dungeon. We are not spying a dungeon over here. So let me put a block here that says no dungeon. <laughs> In case you didn't know what cobblestone said. Now you know. Cobblestone equals no dungeon. Cobblestone means Brian has already looked down here and not seen the thing with the stuff. All right, skeleton sees me. I was trying to eat but I'm not hungry enough yet. Don't think I saw any signs of a dungeon right over there. This water is sadly going to be working against me. I can probably cut it off somewhat that way. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Skeleton over here is probably going to find me again. Oops, not helping. There we go, that'll help. Um... I'm not seeing dungeons in this area. Towards the skeleton is kind of the only direction to go. So let's get a good stake going for health regeneration. There we go. And so over in this direction, is there a dungeon? Oh, I hear the Enderman. Hold the phone. Could be that I'm here for the other item, and I didn't even know it. All right, Enderman, where are you at? He sounds like he's like right here. Is he right below me or right above me? Let's try going up. Yeah, I think he's like right over here or right here. There's multiple Endermen here. Okay. Found a hole. Here's a creeper. Let's keep the creeper out of the hole. 
Okay, hit the Enderman. So there are Endermen right here. Let's make sure I have a nice little place that I can go into that the Enderman cannot. And then just open this up and try to find and look at one. Okay, there's a skeleton there too. Let's kill the skeleton first. Okay, and eat some food. Uh, you know what? Let's not worry about the food. Let's just do this. Okay. Please give me an ender pearl. Great! Everything is coming up Millhouse. Okay, we just need to find a dungeon filled with riches, and we'll be in great shape. I see, so this just wrapped around to where I was. I was down there just a moment ago. Okay. So if I were a dungeon filled with riches, I would be right up here somewhere. I see a bunch of non-dungeony blocks and a baby zombie who I don't like at all. All right, but the baby zombie has been dealt with quite thoroughly. So have these crazy blocks. Show me a name tag dungeon. Name tag dungeon. Oops, that was... Pretty impressive. Tried to place the block, came back. All right, let's eat another steak. We'll once again try to use cobblestone to block off paths that we've already thoroughly explored. This looks like it's dead ending. Yeah, I don't see any signs of a dungeon down there. And a name tag, the only other way we could get it is through fishing, right? So I'm fairly certain that looking for dungeons is the right way to go. And we appear to be in a reasonably extensive system of caves. So I have some high hopes. He must have just fallen down. Here's a dungeon. Go! Oh, he did not fall. He found a way back. Where did he just go, actually? I'm a little confused by this creeper's ability to... Disappear and reappear. He is the disappearing, reappearing creeper of destiny. Because if you're going to give monsters crazy titles, you have to add of destiny at the end. It's just the rules. Still not sure where the creeper is. There he is. Found him. Okay. We're going to put a torch in here. How did none of those skeletons hit each other? Come on, there we go. Okay, two of the three skeletons are fighting each other. I've got some torchlight in there. I could probably just run in there and if there happened to be a name tag, just go win the game. But I'm gonna let the skeletons shoot each other again for a minute and get one more stake in me because it's so delicious. There we go. And now let's break the spawner. Great. Uh, no name tag there. Name tag! There we go. Won the game. And we did it in a re reasonable time. This is one of my probably top five times for sure. Maybe even better. 33 minutes and 34 seconds. A third of a hundred in the minutes department. Yeah. All right. Let's review how that card went. I said at the beginning it didn't seem like it was a bad card. We were fortunate to find the beetroot stew. We were fortunate that there was a jungle right near spawn in the direction that we first started to go. And we were fortunate that the first enderman we killed dropped an ender pearl. The pumpkin seeds, we found enough dungeon chests that I think the pumpkin seeds were likely to pop up regardless. The chickens, I'm glad that I spotted them and I'm glad that I happened to come up in a space where the egg was already there so I didn't have to wait for it. Um, but that's not hugely lucky. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty pleased with how I played that one. I definitely could have been faster, uh, but for having not played in a while, I'm very happy. <laughs> Despite all the arrows sticking out of my body in every direction. Um, yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arrows in me, I think, right now. That is impressive. That is a lot of arrows. <laughs> all right. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft bingo. Bye-bye.